She described it as a three-month, one-night stand. When she was 19, Carrie Fisher and Harrison Ford, a 33-year-old married father of two, had an intense whirlwind affair. When you were shooting Star Wars, you and Harrison Ford had an affair. That's no. <laughs> I'm just as shocked as you are. And just a month before her shocking death almost five years ago, Carrie finally shared the diary where she detailed every thought and emotion with the world. Today, we're looking into the secrets she kept for four decades. Her decision thrilled Star Wars fans, who at long last found that the bickering intense love story they had seen played out again and again on screen was, in some small way, true to life. I love you. I know. In The Princess Diarist, published November 2016, the 60-year-old Carrie shared her memories of their passionate affair. It was so intense. It was Han and Leia during the week and Carrie and Harrison during the weekend. Although Carrie had previously hinted at some sort of entanglement with Ford, it was only when her final book was published that she confirmed it. But I must say, it seemed to be trending in that direction. Wow. After stumbling on often angst-ridden journals that she kept while filming in London, she felt the time had come to open up about the formative experience. Finally, enough time has passed to enable her to tell the story. It wasn't just my secret to keep, she said meaning that Ford was married at the time of their affair to his high school sweetheart. I'm sure he doesn't like it. I'm quite sure by now he really doesn't like it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm liking it less now. <laughs> the two first got together when he rescued her from a rather creepy situation at George Lucas's birthday party during the filming of 1977's Star Wars A New Hope. The youngest there, and essentially the only girl, she was surrounded by crew members after arriving at the party. After teasing her, here's our little princess without her buns, they decided to get her drunk. Unused to alcohol, Carrie found herself quickly overwhelmed. It's at this point that Harrison stepped in. Pardon me, he told a crew member who claimed Carrie wanted to get a little air, but the lady doesn't seem to be very aware of what she wants. Harrison took charge of his young co-star and after an argument with the other men, took her out of the party into his car. It was here that their fling began and they first kissed. The moment was one Carrie admitted to having fantasized about. After spending their first night together following a birthday party, Fisher was racked by self-doubt. I looked over at Harrison, a hero's face. A few strands of hair fell over his noble, slightly furrowed brow, she wrote. How could you ask such a shining specimen of a man to be satisfied with the likes of me? She wrote that her co-star was her number one priority on set. However, she clarified that the intensity of her and Ford's romance was most likely due to her young age. I mean, it seems like you were in love. Felt that way. Well, I'm a... Well, I was 19, <laughs> yeah. Fisher also said having an undiagnosed, at the time, bipolar disorder intensified her self-proclaimed obsession with Ford. And the kisses continued, along with nights of passion. Check out those kisses in Empire. They did not have to use special effects. Carrie wrote of one occasion. The young Carrie even admitted to fantasizing her lover would give her a gold band with diamonds inscribed Carison. Even though she knew Ford was already married to someone else, Fisher still dreamed about a future with her co-star. She imagined a world where he'd gently and responsibly leave his wife for her. In her journal, Fisher said she thought the idea might come true after imitating him at a pub. Although Ford is known for his stoic ways, he burst into uncontrollable fits of laughter at her imitation of him. Fisher felt so ecstatic that she could make him laugh that she started to believe there was a chance for a romantic future between them. He was not only laughing, she writes, he was laughing that silent and hard laugh reserved for true enthusiasm. Almost 40 years later, I still think of it as one of the greater moments of my life, my love life. Sadly, Fisher's fantasy never transpired. Instead, when filming wrapped on Star Wars, Ford returned to his wife and family. And while their brief affair was passionate, the young Carrie was riddled with insecurities. I was shocked by the fact that he fancied me. I was a very insecure girl and had only had one boyfriend. At the same time, she said, there was no way he would have known how innocent she was because she had deliberately painted a false picture of herself. He perceived me as this very confident, experienced girl, Carrie wrote. I don't think he had all the information and when he got it, he behaved accordingly, and we stayed together for the remainder of the film. According to Fisher, it was never going to be more than that. She didn't think it was going to be even that. One of the questions she repeatedly asked herself in the diaries is whether Ford knew how she felt. 
I don't think until now he knew the intensity of my feelings. As for herself, she said she has probably tried to bury those emotions over the years. Although their unlikely romance took Fisher by complete surprise and ran its course once the film wrapped, she remembers the time fondly. Harrison is a decent, albeit complicated and frequently silent, guy, she concluded in her book. He's always been decent to me, and as far as I know, the only time he cheated on any of his three wives was with me. And maybe he didn't think that counted all that much because of how short I am. Almost a year after her death, Harrison Ford has spoken about his affair with Carrie Fisher for the first time. Uh, if your love life was an ice cream uh, flavor, what would it be called? Rocky Road. <laughs> In an interview with GQ magazine, Harrison acknowledged the relationship and admitted it was strange that she chose to write about it. When asked if Carey warned him that he would be featuring in the book, he responded, Um, to a degree, yes. However, he seemed reluctant to reveal anything else, and when questioned about how he felt about being in the book, he said, Oh, I don't know, I don't know. You know, with Carey's untimely passing, I don't really feel that it's a subject that I want to discuss. He did, however, admit that he hadn't read it. In 2018, Fisher's brother, Todd, released a memoir about his late sister and mother called My Girls, A Lifetime with Carrie and Debbie. Todd wrote that the affair came as a surprise to Reynolds. Reportedly, he said the news upset their mother, which caused Fisher to regret revealing her romance with Ford to the world. You're right, I shouldn't have told that story, Fisher said to her mother, according to Todd. On the Graham Norton show, she explained, But this is caused ructions. It 400,000 news services picked it up. Wow! Uh, I'm not, I, and it became a little embarrassing for me. The actor also revealed she sent Harrison a copy of the book before it was published and was adamant it paints him in a good light. Following Carrie's tragic death on December 27, 2016, days after suffering a heart attack aboard a plane, Harrison shared his love for brilliant Carrie. Carrie was one of a kind, brilliant, original funny and emotionally fearless. She lived her life bravely. We will all miss her. It's so clear um, her value and what she brought, not just to Star Wars, but to all of our lives. I'll miss her. Surprisingly, Fisher said she and Ford never discussed their relationship, neither at the time nor afterward. In 2015, they were reunited as characters in Star Wars The Force Awakens for the first time in 30 years. So you'd miss me. I did miss you. On this last film, I noticed that two people were flirting and they had a big age difference, like we had, and I pointed it out to him and he said, well, I hope it goes well for them. I think it's the only time we've ever referred to it. However, what emerged over the years was a lasting friendship with Mark Hamill. When Carrie told him about her affair with Ford, he was shocked. Yep, none of her Star Wars cast members knew about the romance, including Hamill. And because her feelings for her on-screen lover were so one-sided, Fisher said that she was sorry the affair wasn't with Mark Hamill instead. It might have meant something, she wrote. Maybe not much, but certainly more. As it turns out, Hamill and Fisher did have a little fling back in the day. Mark later admitted that he and Carrie once made out to get their attraction for each other out of their system. But it was more than just a physical attraction. According to Hamill, a part of him genuinely fell in love with his longtime friend. A part of me did fall in love with her, he confessed during a 2017 panel. And sometimes we sort of wanted to go in that direction, he said, referring to a romantic relationship. Before her tragic death, Carrie was single, looking to move to Britain, and was more than ready for another man. I want to find a British professor who will be able to put up with me, so you can put the word out. Good sense of humor, intelligent, not hideously unattractive, and sort of confident without being arrogant. Following Fisher's death, Hamill couldn't get Fisher off his mind for years to come. And during the panel, he discussed his grief. I mean, she was just fun to be around all the time, so. But instead of being upset that she's not here, I have to remember all the years of fun that she gave me. Let me tell you, when I go to sleep at night, there's never a day so far where I don't think of her, he said. And when I think of her, she's looking down from the celestial stratosphere with those big brown eyes, that sly smile on her face as she lovingly extends me the middle finger. We know, we know, it was heartbreaking. As always, thanks for choosing Rumor Juice. Spread the word and don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell for more celebrity stories. And we'll be right back. Be well and be kind.